Barry here, taking a look at Tomy's new Sonic the Hedgehog figure. This is something that I didn't think I was going to pick up. It leaked um, a few months ago on the GameStop website, $30. From the pictures, it looked like maybe it was three or four inches high. Um, it does come with different parts, but I thought, you know, I have that um, Nendroid, or however you say it, Good Smile Sonic toy, which I will compare this with at the end. And so I figured this was maybe a cheap knockoff, but... Um, Looking at pictures of it online on Facebook from people who had bought it, I realized it's actually bigger. It's it's much bigger. It's probably the second largest classic Sonic figure that is out there right now. And it comes with a variety of faces. Uh, there's like little, I guess we call that the muzzle. There's the eyes. Um, it has, well, you'll see them in a second. It has some eyes that you don't see on some other figures. And it even comes with a chili dog, which... To be fair, I mean, this is a very Japanese-looking figure, but the Chili Dog is very much an American invention that was applied to Sonic. And so I'm interested to see, you know, what sort of poses you can do with it, what the uh, facial features look like. So let's pop it open and see what's inside. So here it is outside of the box, and the box actually has this cool little Green Hill Zone insert. I don't think you can actually, like, maybe you could, you know, display it behind here. I was kind of hoping you could maybe pop it in to the sides here so you can have a little backdrop and you, you can play with that but it's just packaging. What really matters is the figure itself so let's take a look at that first. So here he is, he's got these weird little ties. Um, I probably should have taken those off before doing this video, maybe I'll do another cut so we can see him out of the packaging. But um, as you can see we got the chili dog, we've got the ring, and then this was really cool. I was looking at this so I mean this is the booklet just tells you this is kind of nightmare fuel right there, ripping Sonic's eyes out. All the things you can do with it. But what I really thought was cool was that the base actually holds all of the things. And you don't see that that often with the, the um, like the Figma figures, you know, things like that. You have all these little pieces. There's nowhere to really store them. But here, you have no fear of losing all the eyes and hands and muzzles and stands. And so you've got the, uh, the laughing mouth here, the angry mouth, and the ooh mouth. I thought there was a... I thought there was a smiling mouth. Maybe I'm... Yeah, oh, it's on his face. Duh. Uh, so yeah, so you get four muzzles, you get four eyes, and you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hands. So... Let's let's take all this packaging off and then take a look at what we can do with him. So here he is unboxed, and as you can see, I have some comparison figures here. So this is from the 20th anniversary. This is still one of my favorite classic Sonic figures. There's also a smaller version that goes with this, but this one, it's, it's really cool. It's, I don't know, what is this, like 9, 10 inches? Um, still kind of the one to beat in terms of just like a standalone figure. Now, over here, we have the... It's not a classic Sonic figure, it's kind of a hybrid, but this was the one from... Am I calling it right? The Nendroid? Nendroid? And there's a lot of options on these. It's really cool. It's not a classic Sonic figure, though, but it does come with... Um, I think the entire face comes off. Or maybe just the eyes. Yeah, the whole face comes off, so you're kind of limited to what the faces are, whereas here, the, the eyes and the mouth are separate, so I think that's a really nice little extra feature and as you can see it's the color is a lot more spot on like this one I always felt was I think the blue looks nice but this one just it looks like the um, the clip art that you'd see you know or the packaging art it's a lot closer to a blue that I would you know think as a classic Sonic blue and if it looks like I'm petting him it's because for whatever reason the plastic they used it's super soft like it's not like a scratchy plastic, but it's almost like velvety. Um, I'm, I'm kind of oddly aroused. But let's get these fakers out of the way and take a look at the main attraction. So what we have here is, as you can see, the ring. It comes with a little stand. I'm not sure why you want to like pivot a ring. Like, I don't know, is it falling over? But it's, it's nice to have. And then here's the chili dog. There's nothing holding it, so like no pegs, so he just kind of has to have it rest in his hand if you use that hand. And then the figure itself, he comes with, as you can see here, one of these things, which is similar to what they did on this figure. And then, of course, like I was showing, 
on the inside, let's take them off of this. On the inside are all the eyes and mouths. So I haven't done this, oh there, see it comes off really easily. And what I really appreciate is that they've actually done some eye, some mouths that you know we don't really see. Like this is that goofy laughing Sonic one. He actually looks <laughs> kind of demented this way. But I think the intent is that you're supposed to take the eyes out. Yeah, it comes off really nicely. It's like they stick in there, but they're not, like, stuck. Let's see. So let's put these eyes in, and the laughing mouth. And it's just, it's cool, because it's like, it's... It's something that we've seen for years, but never really on many products. And so I really like that. It looks like he's drunk with power or something, I don't know. But... Yeah, like I'm saying too, with the hands, you can pop those off. Let's see how this works. Let's see. Oh yeah, comes off really easily. Honestly, these come off like really smoothly, not like the other one where there's all these little tiny pegs that could get lost. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this. It's kind of weird because I think the Tomy action figures themselves are kind of crappy, uh, but this is nice. So, and again, it was $30. I know this is the most interesting thing, watching a grown man trying to put an arm on a hedgehog. Okay, maybe I was <laughs> a little premature in my nice comments. This is kind of annoying. Eh. Let's pretend it's on. So there he is, and he's like laughing at the fact that he's holding a hedgehog. Or <laughs> a hot dog, a chili dog. So, yeah, so there you go. Um... I mean, I don't know, really know what else to say about it. There's just a lot of really cool poses that you can do, a lot of cool options for the mouths, and I like that they've incorporated the chili dog. So you can find this at GameStop for $30. I think it might be available at other stores soon, but good luck looking at uh, Toys R Us because those are probably not going to be around anymore. So um, definitely check this out. I recommend it. It's probably one of the best classic Sonic figures out there, and probably the best figure you're going to get this year. So, thumbs up.